today uh, I guess uh, you guys have been waiting uh, for this uh, tutorial uh, we're setting up a VPS server on NetCap and uh, right after that we'll be installing uh, the AA panel a lightweight yet uh, powerful hosting panel that makes uh, managing your server super easy this is a full step-by-step -step guide uh, made simple and uh, beginner friendly so uh, whether you're hosting websites apps or just learning this will get you up uh, and running in no time so uh, make sure you drop a like uh, if you've been waiting for this and uh, let's get straight into it you can also refer to the description of uh, this video if you want to save big on hosting i've got an exclusive discount voucher for new clients only on netcap.com if you're signing up for the first time don't miss the chance to get the great deal the voucher code is in the description grab it now okay guys so let's go we have to select our server as you follow the previous tutorial you know you we have to go to the media okay right after clicking media we have to go to the dvd drive here okay so after clicking the dvd drive we have to go to pick our uh, desired uh, linux distribution we go to we're going to pick uh, ubuntu 22.04 okay and we're gonna set up this in uh, boot mode so right after clicking set up boot mode to dvd we're gonna have to enter our password and click attach dvd once we have done that we're just gonna have to go to the control and the power cycle the vps okay so once the vps has been started we have to open the screen click uh, try or install ubuntu server okay so right after the server has been uh, booting up with the install we're gonna pick uh, english zoom out the window so we can see the full window okay the full control we're gonna click uh, continue without updating we're gonna pick up english okay click done ubuntu server click done we're gonna wait to pick up the ip from the network okay so once the ip has been picked up we're gonna click done we're gonna click down right on this step wait for the mirrors to be tested okay it seems everything good click done use an entire disk okay we're gonna click done right here so guys uh, right now we're gonna have to customize it a bit apart from the previous tutorial that i've been showing you uh, we're gonna have to make some changes in this uh, step so uh, we don't have to pick up uh, two partitions in the a panel so right now what we have to do is uh, to go delete this partition click delete you can see the free space here has been increased to the entire disk size okay click on it create logical volume leave all this by default click create okay so once this has been done we go gonna go and click uh, done on the bottom and continue okay right now we're gonna have to set up uh, the logins and the server name okay so right after we have been filling up this uh, form we're gonna go on the bottom click done skip for now continue install open ssh server we're gonna need this okay click done we don't have to pick anything from here because we're going to install a basic ubuntu done so what we're gonna have to do now is just wait for the server to be installed okay so once this has been finished we have to reboot uh, the server okay so just gonna go click reboot as you can see we have the server we have to go and uh, detach the dvd okay go on uh, media click 
click DVD drive, detach DVD, ok, click control, power cycle the server, ok, so right after the server has been started, we're gonna click uh, connect on this window, so we can uh, see the screen again. Okay, so the server has been installed successfully. Once uh, we finish this uh, step, we're gonna have to go and uh, download the, the PuTTY console from the web and also go and download the WinSCP program so we can uh, see the files of uh, the VPS server so we can uh, go and uh, manage them, okay? So I'm gonna pause this right now so you guys can understand uh, we can also install the AA panel from this uh, console because uh, this is the remote screen but uh, I'm gonna use I'm gonna use the uh, putty console and the, the win SCP program so uh, we're just gonna have to open that after installing okay so this is the window of the win SCP you have to select the SFTP protocol select the port 22 put in the hostname uh, IP, the VPS IP the user have been setting up on the tutorial and uh, the password, after that click login so right after we log in here we're gonna go and open the putty console put in our password okay so right after we have been logged in in the putty console uh, we have to set up the VPS root password so make sure you are typing in uh, the command like uh, this, okay, sudo password root, okay, just make sure you tap it as you can see it right here, okay. Okay, so after you have been typing this uh, command, just go and uh, click uh, enter. So we have to put in the password for the base digital user that we have been set up in the tutorial. Okay, and uh, the next step uh, we have to set up the password for the root. So make sure guys you are saving this password in a file or something so you can uh, remember it. Don't forget this password. Repeat the password. Okay, so uh, after we have been setting up uh, this uh, password, we're gonna go and uh, switch to the root user. So uh, place in the password you have been setting up for the root. Okay, we're successfully logged in as root guys now. So uh, the next step, uh, we're gonna install the A panel. So for the next step, uh, we're gonna go search on Google A panel install Ubuntu and uh, click uh, this uh, link, download A panel. Now guys make sure you are picking up the free version of this panel because they also have a paid version so we're gonna go to install the AA panel free edition install okay just copy this once we have uh, copied that uh, just go and uh, right click in the putty console place in the command and click enter It's asking, do you want to install a panel in the www directory? Okay, gonna click yes. Okay guys, so as you can see the A panel has been uh, finishing here. Uh, the setup has been run and uh, successfully been installed. So make sure guys, uh, you copy this uh, info here. Just select and uh, click enter and go uh, save it in uh, some file okay so once we have this uh, login uh, go access it in uh, the browser okay so once we access this uh, url you're gonna see some uh, ssl uh, error just go click uh, proceed okay this is the login window of the panel i'm gonna pick up the login from the file where we saved it 
and the password, okay? So click login. Okay, we're gonna see this uh, window. The installation was successful, so gonna click uh, finish here. Okay guys, so on this step uh, we have to pick up uh, the environment we're gonna use for the websites. So I'm recommending you to use uh, LNMEP, this meaning uh, Nginx, uh, MySQL, PHP and uh, whatever you, you can uh, select here. You can also select the mail server if you need. We're not gonna use the DNS server because uh, we're about to use Cloudflare. Okay, so uh, method quick install. Okay, so once these uh, softwares have been installed, guys, uh, you are ready to go. And uh, the next uh, tutorial we're gonna be on the A panel related to the usage of uh, this panel. I'm gonna set up a website and uh, some database. So make sure, guys, you get uh, subscribed to this channel and uh, follow the next uh, tutorial we're gonna post, okay? If you guys have reached this uh, part of the video, it means that you have followed uh, the full tutorial and uh, you are on the end of uh, the video. Thank you guys and uh, don't forget to subscribe, uh, like this video and also don't forget about the vouchers in the video description. See you on the next one. Thank you.